Hey guys, this is Lil Troy with Bad Luck Garage, and I'm back with video number two on our series on decapping stock LS fuel injectors. Came home today, checked the mailbox, and look what we got. We got our fuel injectors back. Yay! Alright, so uh, you guys might remember from the previous video, um, I had decapped all of my fuel injectors and sent them to Eric Durr. At, um, ah, uh, sorry, Eric, <laughs> having trouble remembering the name of your company. It's, uh, Dur Injector Service. Hopefully you guys can see the card there. Uh, great guy, by the way. Uh, talked to him on the phone, real easy to talk to. Um, I'm not going to quote his pricing because I'm not sure how he does his pricing. Um, but I will tell you guys, he was literally half the cost of uh, every other company that, that I looked at to have these cleaned and flowed. And we, we are about to see what kind of job he did with them. <laughs> he in, individually bagged every injector. That's, that's pretty cool. Was it necessary? I don't know. But... Uh, I like attention to detail, guys. So, anyway, what we got here all right, yep, these are the flow numbers. So, first, I want to say <laughs> these injectors look brand new. I mean, he really he replaced, um, yeah. Yeah, he, he put new filter baskets, put new filter baskets in all of them, uh, new O-rings, top and bottom, and we've got, uh, let's see here, yeah, and you guys can see where I had, uh, where I'd uncapped these, all right, now, uh, he, he did a great job on these guys. I don't know if you can see these, but I mean, these, these look like brand new injectors. Um, I mean, they weren't just filthy when I sent them to them, but <laughs> they didn't look anywhere near this good. I mean, these, these look, they, I mean, they look brand new. Awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, anyway, I told you guys, uh, or I may not have, I don't remember now. I don't really watch my own videos. Um, I knew there was going to be a, a variance. Um, I'd watched uh, Sloppy's, you know, Matt's video, Sloppy Mechanics. I'll go ahead and plug him here. I'd watched his video on this, and I, I knew there would be some variance. Um, and I had a plan to deal with that, or so I thought. And when I called Eric um, before before I sent these off, let me put you up here. Okay, now you can see me. Um, when I called Eric before I sent these off, uh, he had actually told me, he said, you're better off sending me 16. I knew that. I knew that the uh, there would be a difference in flow rates between the injectors. I thought that I would be able to deal with it. I thought I had a plan. And uh, I'll go ahead and tell you what my plan was. My original plan was if as long as there was less than about a, a five percent variance i mean you hear people say all the time you know our injectors have less than a two percent variance well that's pretty uncommon and for a high performance injector i would expect that something you're paying a lot of money for the the truth of the matter is from from what i've read there's a lot of variance in stock fuel injectors even before they're uncapped i mean you're usually talking you know about a five to seven percent difference in, in some factory fuel injectors i was i was ready to deal with that uh what i was not ready to deal with was a 14 percent difference so i'm looking at these flow numbers and what i've got here is um on the dynamic flow rate you know we've got 63 65 62 65 uh, that that's great you can deal with that I could even deal with the 60 
yeah, there's there's uh, two of them here that are 60. That still kind of, you know, that's pushing it from the median. But when you get down here, we got a problem. We got one that's 59, and then we got one that goes all the way up to 67. So, you know, I'm baselining. I'm I'm saying my my baselines around 63. Uh, 63 pounds for these injectors which is awesome I mean they started life as as 25.2 uh, pound injectors is what they're advertised as they're out of a 2006 LQ4 so they went from you know a little over 25 pounds to being basically 63 64 pound injectors but I was prepared for one to flow quite a bit more than the others this 67 this one that's flowing 67 i'm i'm cool with that because what i could do is i've always heard and i don't know how true it is but i've always heard that uh, cylinder seven on these ls engines tends to run lean so what i was going to do is i was going to if i had one that was out of whack high like that i was going to throw that in cylinder seven and, and let it run a little rich um the problem here is I've got one that's way lower than the rest. Uh, static, static flow rate on it. It was well. We won't even look at static. We're going by dynamic flow rate here, and it was 59. And our medium is, like I said, around 63. So that's that's not good. Um, I don't know how to deal with one like that. So that being said, we're not going to be using these right away um i think what i'm going to do is let's see what's the part number on these now now eric warned me about this and he he told me he'd rather if i sent him 16 because what you do is you you have them you decap 16 of them have them clean and flow the you know 16 injectors and you pick the eight that are closest to each other and those are the ones you use and that's that's the perfect plan i mean that's what you should do you know, I'm on a budget. I, I didn't have the money to get six more, or I mean to get eight more injectors. And even though he told me, he said, it doesn't matter what the part number is, any of these truck injectors are gonna end up flowing, you know, around the same numbers once they're decapped. But just for me, <laughs> I'm kind of OCD guys. I want to send him more of the exact same part number. Okay, so, you know, these are the 2531, seven six two eights so what i'm going to try to do is i'm going to probably hit some junkyards or something when i get a little more cash and you know try to find another set of, of these to send them and i'm wanting to go turbo somewhere down the road guys with project steppenwolf so these are these are going to be my budget option to to do that because you know at an average of 63 pounds this should be able to have no problem supporting you know 600 horsepower which is about the most i'm looking for 600 streetable horsepower um so we're uh you know we're gonna hold on to them and i'm gonna try to locate some more by that part number at the junkyard or, or something and send them in and and have him do the same thing because he did an excellent job uh can't say it enough i'm gonna i'm gonna throw out a plug to him again here it's uh, eric durr um at dur injection uh yeah dur injection in uh bowling green kentucky um uh, you guys should use them you know even if it's not not because you've decapped them but for for what he charges um it's worth it if you get a good deal on some used injectors and you just want to make sure that they're flowing properly and they're clean and uh like I said, I'm not going to tell you what he charged me because I'm not sure how he does his pricing and I don't want to tell you a number and he ends up charging you more and you get mad about it or he charges you less and you're like, yeah, that little Troy guy got fucking ripped. But uh, I'm just going to tell you he was beyond reasonable on his pricing and, and from the looks of these injectors, I mean, it's they're beautiful, man. They look brand new. Um, and I got all my flow. I got all my flow numbers here. I don't know if see if that'll focus on that. I'm not sure if it will. But uh, he does static flow rate and dynamic flow rate here 
and uh, you know he numbers the injectors one through eight and the number is you know on the side of the injectors so uh, that's what we're gonna do we're gonna let him uh, we're gonna try to get our hands on on eight more of these uh, these 25 31 76 28 injectors which I believe these are the highest flowing injectors they had on the non flex fuel uh, gen 3 uh, truck engines because these were rated at 25.2 pounds and all the rest of them seem to be rated below that some of them were 22 pounds um, John uh, he's got a, a set of these that it's it's a different part number uh, but I looked his up and they're rated at 24 point something pound so these are actually you know these were the highest flowing ones factory rated uh, according to Eric Eric Durr here um, according to him once they're decapped they, they're all pretty close uh, to the same but I just I want to keep the part numbers the same or I might not I mean I might talk to John uh, the the six liter we're going to be building for John's LS project is is actually going to be it's going to be turbo big turbo guys probably he's got two turbos over there he's got a he's got a T66 and he's got a 90 millimeter turbo that you've seen him playing with in some of the other videos um, he's wanting to put the 90 millimeter on there so he's not going to be able to use a set of stock injectors anyway. So I don't know, at some point we may just send his and, and see how close the flow rate is and I might just say OCD be damned and um, you know if I can, between his eight and my eight, if I can pick a set that'd be great. But um, for the time being, I actually had somebody that uh, is donating me some 8.1 injectors which they're rated at. Um, well, I looked in the in my HP tuner files. Uh, people say they're 30 pound injectors. People say they're 32 pound injectors. Um, I, I looked up the HP, you know, uh, HP tuner file on the 8.1 liter, a 2000, I want to say 2005 model, and um, it looks like they're rated at, at somewhere between 30 to 31 pound injectors. Now that's only about a 18 percent increase over these. Uh, but I'm hoping it's going to be enough to, to get me. I don't think it, I don't think they're going to be able to run Steppenwolf and be under 80 percent, which is what you want. But these before I decapped them, I, I was hitting. Uh, if I tried to run a 12 to air fuel ratio, um, I, I was hitting 116 percent duty cycle with these. Now I don't think a 12 to AFR is is necessary. Um, you know, with my naturally aspirated engine. Uh, so I'm hoping that those 31 pound injectors that I have coming, they should be here in a couple days. Um, I'm hoping that they're gonna be able to, I don't think they'll be down to 80%, but I don't know. I'll be honest guys, I don't know the math. Uh, I was able to do the math and I know that a 31 pound injector flows 18% more than a 25 pound injector but how far that's going to lower the duty cycle on the same engine uh i hadn't really tried to figure the math out to that but i know it'll be under 100 percent anyway um which 116 percent is crazy i mean you run you know i hear people all the time oh, i run my injectors at 120 percent and i'm like yeah but you know you, you get these things hot and one of them locks open or worse yet you know, one of them locks open, you're just going to be pumping a lot of gas into your engine. But you get one of these hot and it locks closed, then, you know, it's it's bye-bye. So I don't want to risk that. So uh, for the time being, I'm going to run run those uh, 8.1 injectors. And um, like I said, as soon as we get some more, we'll send them off, get them flowed, and we'll pick us a set. Okay, so the decap injectors didn't work out for us yet, but uh, stay tuned. Uh, I will make at least one more video when I get some more sent off, and uh, we are going to end up using them at some point. I've just got to get some that are closer to each other. So anyway, if you like this video, hit the like button. Um, if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. You'll get emails letting you know whenever I put them out, and uh, I'll see you next time on Bad Luck Garage.